What's up, Anthony? This is a quick demo video for you for your Shadow for your props OWK. This is installed with a Profi. It's got the chassis that you provided. Um, you didn't say who you got it from, but I'm pretty sure that this one belongs or, or this design was Sam from Shadow Foil and then you painted it. All right, to get to the chassis, you'll want to unscrew the pommel here. Something that I didn't think unscrewed at first because this was very tightly onto this piece right here and I thought it came off as one unit and I didn't think it was the right chassis, so that's my mistake. But take that off, you'll see your speaker and you can pull it right out, all right? And this is the chassis that you painted up. Looks very, very cool. So one thing about this, it does not hide the wiring and the battery tray. So what I did is I just put a piece of electrical tape over the all of the wires so you wouldn't see it. And then when you have a battery in there, you just can't tell at all. All right. Uh, the switches that you sent to me for this particular chassis were not the switches that went to the chassis. All right. So these were designed particularly for the switch PCBs that you buy from Shadow Foil Props. That's why I think it was Sam that made this. Um, so those fit right in there. I do choose not to use the screws to hold in the switches though. I just go ahead and I glue that switch plate down. And then um, I used a slightly different one over here for the power side just because of the difference in the in the plunger switches. All right. You've got a Carl Chen V4 blade connector right here. Moving down, you sent me a bag of a few different crystals. All the ones I didn't use will be in your box, but they were all this color. Uh, so I picked the best one that I could find. I did uh, design this little crystal holder and I glued it in place because this was pretty much a wide open cavity and, uh, the, and the pixel was showing So and I didn't want that to show. So uh, I made this little holder for the crystal if we can focus in on it. There we go. Glued that in place. Um, I printed it out in gray so that it would be easy to paint if that's something that you wanted to do or you could go over it in the gray paint that you put on the rest of the chassis and it should match right up. All right, and this is your profi board over here. Um, access to your SD card and micro USB from here. You just need a 90 degree data cable and then you can do whatever you like to do. Uh, for now, this just has my sound font on it and there is a copy of the config file on the SD card. All right, uh, turning it over here, that's where your kill switch is at. So it's located in that small cavity right there. And then you have a 28 millimeter Smuggles Outpost speaker. All right. When putting the battery in, this leaf spring right here next to your crystal, that's the negative side of your battery. So please remember that. Uh, it'll snap right in. We'll come over here and flip the kill switch. So because you gave me a turquoise crystal, I did not want to program the NeoPixel accent for any other color than white. Uh, so you'll notice that on the config file, it's programmed for white. It's going to pulse when the saber's off. If we turn it on from here, it's going to go solid. Okay. And then we'll turn it off with the switch as well. Um, I did that because of the color of the crystal. So I wanted that to shine through as much as possible. But when you put this in the saber, what you want to do, these are your tact or these are your plunger switches right here. The red one's power. The brass one is auxiliary. Just kind of line up your switches with those switches. And it'll go right in. All right, there's also, let me lock this down real quick and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You won't be able to see it from the outside, but when you take all of these greeblies off and you slide this upper shroud up, there's a little uh, retention screw right underneath the shroud that is a, uh, it's kind of like a clock, an added clocking mechanism for the chassis. I went in and I adjusted that, so everything is good to go. Put the chassis in, lock your pommel down, hit power. Alright, now you've got some nice shine through. Beefy boy. Brass is uh, auxiliary. And we'll turn it off and put a blade in. Alright, this one takes a one inch diameter blade. So let me lock this down, which is something you will want to do. You've got uh, two blade retention screws on this guy. I'm just going to use one for the that out of there and hit power. It 
such a, a like a thin saber in that big speaker when you're swinging around you can actually feel the sound coming out of all these venting holes right here blaster bolts just tapping auxiliary if you want blade lock up hold it down and hit the saber you'll see it close to uh, the emitter when it's straight up and down and then as you go like that it moves to the middle of the blade Play your soundtrack, do a long press on the power. Alright, do another long press to turn it off. And then this just has the one sound font on it for now. But of course, if you had multiple, you would tap auxiliary to go to the next one. <laughs> okay, your blade plug is in your box. I won't forget to send it. I just didn't break it out for the demo. Uh, that does not have any shine through on it, so kind of boring. Kind of boring if you're trying to get shine through it's very accurate though if you're displaying it so it will be in your box all your leds firing up and of course when we're done we'll just take this off from here careful you don't drop it that is a two-piece deal that bare aluminum piece does spin so that you can clock that however you like all right slide the chassis out We'll go ahead and turn it on from here. And we'll flip it off with the kill switch. And it kills power like it should. When you want to take the battery out, just grab it from here and pull it right out. All right. But that is basically your shadow foil props OWK. I am going to hang on to this for now because you have me making you a recessed blade. Um, but I'll make that first thing on Monday and get everything out to you at the same time. All right. Thanks, man.